Hi, I'm Carol Chappelle. I'm a professor at Iowa State University. I teach in the MA program in TESOL and in the doctoral program in Applied Linguistics and Technology. We developed these programs to provide an opportunity for English language teachers to learn how technology can be used in language teaching, assessment, and analysis. I first became interested in the use of technology for English language teaching over 40 years ago when I was teaching at the University of Illinois. I saw how much interaction students engaged in when they worked on interactive computer-assisted language programs, and I wanted to be able to do research to better understand how to design effective learning activities. Many years later, the technologies and opportunities have expanded, but the basic question is still important. In our course, we will talk about the many ways that today's technologies can help English language learners. Greetings to you. My name is Volker Hegelheimer, and I'm a professor at Iowa State University, where I teach in the English department and for the Applied Linguistics and Technology program. I grew up in Germany, and I have been learning English all my life. At that time, I started out with books and handouts and lots of note cards. I also remember listening to Voice of America as a college student in Germany. My interest in technology use in the classroom started to develop about 30 years ago, right around the time when the internet became available. At that time, I was studying at the University of Illinois, and I was teaching English to non-native English speakers. I created classes that took advantage of the internet and all the possibilities to access authentic materials, to interact with the computer and with other learners. Since then, I've remained interested in figuring out how to best use technology in the language learning classroom. I've researched and published in the field of computer-assisted language learning, and I find it fascinating to witness the evolution of technology and its potential to help language learners and language teachers. This course you are about to begin includes the many insights researchers and teachers have discovered over the years. And I hope that you will find the many different examples of technology use you'll encounter in this course useful for your own teaching. In each of the modules, we have dedicated some attention to using technology for teaching young learners. For those sections, we have three teachers of young learners who will provide their advice and guide you to resources for young learners. Hello, everybody. My name is Tina Msonsad Hegelheimer. I'm an assistant professor in the English department in Applied Linguistics program at Iowa State University. I come from Turkey and I started my teaching career in Turkey where I taught to young learners at K-12 level. I also started to teach at the university level in the US about like 10 years ago and I love what I'm doing. Teaching is my passion. Hi everyone, I'm Agata Guskaroska and I'm currently a PhD candidate in Applied Linguistics and Technology at Iowa State University. In the past couple of years, I have taught composition courses and worked as a speaking and writing consultant at the Center for Communication Excellence. My area of expertise is second language pronunciation instruction and technology. However, in this course, I will be talking about teaching English to young learners. I come from North Macedonia, where I taught English as a foreign language courses in primary and secondary schools for seven years. I greatly enjoyed working with learners across all ages, especially with young learners. As a teacher in my home country, I found that teaching English to young learners was particularly rewarding, and it sparked my interest in studying and developing effective teaching methods for this age group. Hi, my name is Jean Beck. I'm a PhD student in the Applied Linguistics and Technology program at Iowa State University. I am a teacher for this course and also help with research activities in the English department. I'm also a current elementary teacher and coordinator at a local private school. I've taught English as a second and foreign language in South Korea, Japan, and in two U.S. states.